Adam Chris from MyMMANews.com being joined by Jason Witt ahead of his bout with Zach Busha. It goes down at FAC at Silverside Eye Center Arena in Missouri this weekend, Saturday, February 22nd. First, I got to thank my, GM, my man for joining me. It's our first time talking on record. Jason, how are you, my friend? It is. I'm doing very well, man. I appreciate that. How are you doing? I'm doing very well. I appreciate you asking me. So uh, we sure. had talked a little bit before we started, and uh, you said you uh, – we're getting some breakfast out with your wife before the uh, fight. It's a nice spot you like to go to. I was going to ask you if you have any pre-fight rituals, so it kind of fused together here. So tell us about this spot and uh, what you enjoy about it. Uh, so it's a place called Etc. Yeah. Um, it's a nice little breakfast place, breakfast lunch place. It goes like 2 o'clock. We used to live walking distance from it, so when we'd go to breakfast every Sunday, we'd just walk to it, and it was really nice. Right. Uh, we moved a little bit further away, but we still kind of kept, you know, we, we love coming here every Sunday eating breakfast and usually I was coming here for like my last meal uh, mm -hmm. before before weight cut or whatever you want to call it uh, mm -hmm. before like kind of the the shitty part of the the fight week happens I come here get a last meal feel good and just kind of enjoy myself a little bit speaking of uh you know before you have to get ready to cut weight what are you looking at now how's the fight uh week uh going and as far as your weight cut goes what are you looking at losing uh I don't walk around too heavy I'm not really that no big of a welterweight i walk around usually 185 186 uh you know after after the fight or something like that i'll probably get up to 190 192 low 90s but right now i'm just looking i'm thinking i'm 185 this morning so nothing nothing crazy yeah uh, about 15 pounds and you just got sodium and water is not it's not too bad no so tell us a little bit about what you know about zach Busha. on paper he's pretty well rounded some stoppages via tko knockout submission so on paper he's well rounded but he is coming off of uh Four fight losing streak. What do you know about him? Uh, I didn't know that. Don't really care. Um, I trained with him back in the day, probably about five or six years ago. I trained with him. Uh, we had a nice little scrap. I know he's, I know he's technical standing up. He's a little tricky standing up. Mm -hmm. um, he has, he has tell standing up. I know he's not, he's not a pressure fighter. He's not gonna, he doesn't have a lot of power. Um, mm -hmm. He'll put together a little tricky stuff. He's a good grappler. Uh, nice little jiu-jitsu game, but I feel like I'll shut everything down on the ground. Um, I think my wrestling will definitely uh, outweigh his by far. And stand up, I just I know he doesn't have the power I have. He doesn't have athleticism I have. So it's it's for for me. I feel like I have I have the advantage everywhere I go. So if it's standing up, I feel like I have the power to beat him. I've, I I feel like I have the power to knock him out. Uh, mm -hmm. That's 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 where I'm going with this. Uh, I feel like I'll beat him in round two. You know, I'll, I'll grind him down round one and then knock him out in round two. And that's kind of what I'm looking at for right now. So do you feel like that's an extra little feather in your cap, being able to uh, gauge him before being training with him? Obviously, it was years ago, but you've actually, you know, you've gotten your hands a hold of him. You've gotten a little feel for him. Obviously, he's gotten better. You've gotten better. But that basis is there that you know who you're dealing with. Yeah, I, I don't think it's an advantage at all. It was, no. there was only one time, like I said, it was like five years ago. And I know right. uh, I know if I fought myself five years ago, it'd be, it'd be a joke. I'd just beat the shit out of myself. <laughs> so, so I know he's gotten better. I know he's been training, but... Um, I'm just, I'm on a different level. I'm a different, I'm a different person than I was even back then. Even I'm a different person. Than I was six months ago. My last fight, yeah. I've, I've, I've seen my growth. I've seen the the opportunities I've had that I've put together in the gym and, and I'm putting a lot of stuff together. So I feel really good about it. And that's the greatest part of the sport. It's ever improvement. And you're always growing. You're always learning. You're always a student of the game. Tell us a little bit about, like you said, from six months ago till now, from years ago till now, what leaps and bounds have you made since your last fight that you can take into this fight and going forward future? That's a great question. Um, I'm, I'm seeing, I'm seeing, uh, so James Krause does a great job as a coach, um, yeah. putting, putting these together. Um, he's organizing everything in class. So it's like, I see my game, my, my strengths that I have are being organized. Mm -hmm. uh, the way I like to put it is, is my, my systems, my series are, are organized to what works best for me. And I'm seeing my improvements through those, you know, like my step-by-steps, things that are working together, the details. I'm putting details on details. And that's, that's kind of where I see my game getting better every single day. So after, I mean, let's throw some foresight on this fight, right? You're obviously winning this fight in your head. You plan on taking them out in round two by knockout. You said that yourself. You'll be going four fights strong after this. You're on a three-fight win streak now. If you win this fight, there'll be four fights in a row. What about, what's your next step going after this, right? Um, I, man, I, UFC is right at the door. I know they're calling. Yeah. They're knocking, they're, they're, I feel when I knock him out at this fight, they, they can't deny me. There's there's no denying me. Um, I've worked my ass off for this, and I feel that I, I, I know I'm ready 100%. 
Um, I feel like I could have fought this weekend if I needed to. Um, I, I I feel like the UFC is next, and that's just the way it is. Um, I'm, what, I'm number one in Kansas City, Missouri, according mm-hmm. to Tapology or whatever. That, it, I don't really care about those numbers, I, right? I, but it's just it's just good to have. I'm one in Kansas City, one in Missouri, one in Minnesota, like number two in the United States. I mean, I don't, I don't understand uh, how they can deny me after this. Yeah, and I find that a little interesting because there it goes both ways as far as like tapology and the numbers and the rankings go. Because obviously, where there's smoke, there is fire. You have a name behind you. You have the ranking behind you for a reason. So it is there for a reason. But then some people brush it off. But like you said, the next level has to be or the next step has to be the UFC because what other step is there? You've already fought for the Titan. You've already fought in the Bellators. The next step has to be UFC, and you're ranked number one. Period. Point blank. Going through. Why do you think that you've been almost shunned from the UFC, it seemingly, from this point? Uh, that's, that's a very good question. I've not thought about that one. Um, I just, you know, I've, I've, I've put up together, like, good fight win streaks, and I'll lose an important fight, and then I've mm. built myself back again, and then I'll lose an important fight. And it's just, um, I, I, honestly, I honestly don't know. You know, I, I think I'm one of those people, I think timing is everything. I think mm-hmm. it's just... Uh, I think maybe maybe I wasn't ready then. Maybe the, mm. the universe is telling me, "Hey, this is not your time." And I right. I feel like right now it's it's my time. And I, you know, I feel like February twenty second, I'm going to show that it is my time. And then when the UFC calls, I'm prepared and ready to go. Well, you already gave your prediction. You're gonna you're gonna wear them out in the first down. You're gonna knock them out in the second round. But a knockout can come by many ways. So let's let's narrow down the bases a little bit. You want to punch them? Do you want to elbow them? You want to knee them? You want to kick them? How do you get it done, brother? Whatever, whatever happens, happens. Uh, man, I got a, I got a right hand that is, that is, that is, it's meant to be feared. It, you know, when, when I touch people with it, it puts people to sleep. It, it has a lot of power behind it. And I, and I set it up really well. It's not just, I'm throwing it. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm setting it up. I'm, I'm fainting here and there. And, and, and when it lands, it, it, it hurts people. You have to respect it. It's, it's, it's the way it is. All right, man. Well, I'm going to let you get back to your uh, wife and your breakfast. Enjoy it. I, uh, I look forward to the fight. Uh, it looks like you don't have too much weight to lose, so uh, enjoy this week. Have a bunch of fun in the fight, and good luck, man. I appreciate you taking the time. Hey, man, thank you so much. Enjoy talking to you. All right, man, I enjoy talking to you, too. Anytime, we'll get it done. So uh, there he goes, Jason Witt, ahead of his bout with Zach Busch. It goes down this Saturday, February 22nd, at FAC2. And for Jason Witt, I'm Adam Chris. Make sure you keep it locked to my MMA news for all your fight news needs.